if you have low blood pressure and you're dealing with any type of digestive symptoms at all, whether it's burping or bloating or constipation or diarrhea or acid reflux or nausea or even acne or skin type issues, any of those things are strong indications that digestion is not working correctly. Now, digestive malfunctions can also create problems for high blood pressure. When the liver filters out all the junk and toxins and filth out of the body, it puts that filth in our bile. And bile is a soapy substance that the liver makes and then it stores in the gallbladder and it comes down and helps us digest our food correctly. But as this bile is moving through the intestinal tract, it takes all these filth and toxins that the liver filters out and it takes them out the back door when we poop like a champion. So this is the body's main detox strategy. But it's really common today for someone's bile to become too thick and sticky to flow correctly. So now all this filth and junk that the liver is filtering out it doesn't move because the bile's not moving, so it doesn't go out the back door. So instead of these toxins leaving the body, they get reassimilated and the liver's got to filter it out all over again and it eventually gets overwhelmed and this filth and junk can thicken up our blood and raise the pressure needed to push that blood through the system. So when we see high blood pressure, it's really common to see poor bile flow and an inability for the body to remove toxins.